Hello everybody, this is Stranger Game back to do the next mini tournament. And yes, as you can see here, it is going to be a gracious grass tournament. And well, this voting was the tightest it's ever been. And I checked the votes on the Thursday before the deadline, and it was even. It was even. You know, there was nothing to separate them. And then I put, it, put a post on Discord saying, come on guys, pick a tournament already and stick with it. I'm going to do them all eventually. I mean, it's just a matter of which one you want first. And everyone voted for Gracious Grass, so here it is. Now, the awkward thing about the grass dinosaurs is that there's an awkward number of them in total. So, as an added bonus, I've added the Super Grass Dinosaurs and Paris Dinotector. Uh, the only Super Dinosaur that's missing from this set is Super Paris, because we already got Paris and we already got Paris Dinotector. So I don't feel, didn't feel the need to have Super Paris as well. Uh, yes, this could be an interesting tournament because unlike the Wicked Wind tournament, I don't feel like these matches are going to be quite as quick. And in this video, we're going to be positioning all of these in here. And this is 32, this is a 32 team tournament, so it's the biggest mini tournament I've ever done. And I suspect 32 is, 32 is the limit. That's as high as I'll go. And I had to go at that high just to have an even number of combatants and so we don't have any missing out. But you don't need to know about the details. All you need to know is where I'm going to put each of these combatants, go through each of these combatants and their movesets, and that's all you need to know. So before we position all these teams, I'm going to go through them also. Up first, we have a Parasaurolophus. This one's the defense type version, and we're using defense burst, metal wing and light recovery. Pretty standard there. Up next, we have Sorolophus. Tail Smash, Green Impulse, and Technique Boost. Yes, I'm doing the same thing I did with the Mapusaurus from the Fire Tournament, where I had Heat Eruption, but I gave Mapusaurus Technique Boost so it would increase the chances of Heat Eruption activating. And I did the same with Sorolophus. Even though Sorolophus has double the technique Mapusaurus does, 400 Technique is still a bit too low to get good usage out of Green Impulse. And yes, like like I've done with previous mini tournaments, I try to use moves that said dinosaurs used in the anime, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, then we have Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus with a bit of tie attack, Lillian Cure, and Bigfoot Assault. Can any of these golds win the tournament? Or will they flop like the go wind golds did? And okay, now for our silvers, we have the normal Lambiosaurus. <laughs> a fan favourite here. A lot of people want this guy to win. And I gave it Egg Attack, Neck Crusher, and Tie Breaker because this Lambiosaurus Lambiosaurus is charge type. Okay, now we have Ulti Rhinus, and this is the first instance of me using a move that said Dino used in the anime, because I have Super Impact here, with Final Fury and Triple head Headbutt. This Ulti Rhinus is Crisis type, so it will synergize quite nicely with um, Final Fury there. And Super Impact activates after a loss, so Ulti Rhinus could be one to watch in this tournament. Okay, now we have the, one of the more unknown grass dinosaurs, the Karanosaurus. Unknown because it's only ever actually had one print in, and that was in the Series 2 4th edition. And we have Egg Attack, Attack Burst, and Kamikaze Tackle. I don't really, I don't actually know this guy's stats. I am going to research that. No, because I have figured out a way to pretty much get a good estimation of all the attack stats for these guys. Well, the ones that we don't know of. I mean, the ones that we do know, you know, they're, they're on um, the Kakashin cards because the stats are on those editions. But ones like Coronasaurus, which doesn't have a Kakashin print, we don't know. But anyway, moving on, we have Pro Sorolophus, another unknown here. I uh, used the Revival type one, and we have Tag Team, Stun Dash, and Bigfoot Assault. A lot of assist moves in this tournament this time for these grassies, for these grass munchers. Okay, and our final silver dinosaur, which is quite, which was quite a popular one in my recent tournament, the Lanzusaurus, with a bit of power drain because it used it in the anime, Neck Crusher, and Emerald Garden. Lanzusaurus, all about sapping away that health, but will it be useful in this tournament? We'll just have to see. Okay, now onto the bronzes, and probably the, well, I would say definitely the most popular bronze dinosaur out of the grass dinosaurs, the Shantungasaurus. This beast, I believe, it's attack type. It's either attack type or the counter type one. But I go with Tupu for a dive, Metal Wing, and Death Grind. Beware that Metal Wing, as the Shantungasaurus has an insanely powerful crit. And I think has the most powerful crit out of all the bronzes, only to be 
outshone by things like Afrovenator, Rugops, and Taurosaurus. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's because I just recorded this after the Dinosaur King video, which will probably go up later in the week. And I'm watching the football at the same time. Because <laughs> that's how professional I am. Yeah. Okay. And at the Titan. Um, I believe this was used in my big tournament by Connor Temple, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, two Platoon Crush, Move Breaker, and Strufio Rush. Don't know what to expect from this guy here. And the last bronze dinosaur here, we have Ulura Titan, which actually looking, I actually looked at the stats, and this guy is actually really good. It has the same attack stats as a Shant, but it has more technique. So I feel like Ulura Titan could be a dark horse in this tournament. It's got the Galley Rush, the Atomic Bomb, and the Fawn Whip. Okay, now for our 1400 strength dinos, and there's quite a few. So we have Myasaurus. Uh, I believe this one's the charge type one, and it has two platoon crush, which gets triggered during a tie, so good synergy there. And Myasaur does have a very powerful crit. And I think it does have the most powerful crit out of all of these grass dinosaurs with 1400 strength. Only to be rivaled probably by Carithosaurus. Okay, then we have Green Impulse and Elemental Power. Again, Green Impulse synergizes the, the charge type, so again, like Ulura Titan. Myasaurus could be one to watch in this tournament. Okay, then we have Iggy the Iguanodon with Nature's Blessing, Happy Pudding, and an Emerald Garden. Gone for a more resilient build here because Iguanodon, because I'm using a defense type one and Happy Pudding. I'll prob might change this if it doesn't get if it doesn't have a maximum effect on the Iguanodon. I'll probably change this to the other one. I should really double check my video where I actually explained all these food based moves and what dinos they work best on. And then Emerald Garden is Emerald Garden because Iguanodon sadly didn't have any move in the anime and I, I just remembered that the Myasaur actually had Dive Impress, didn't it? Yeah, well I'm not changing it. I could, no, I'm, I'm going to stick with two platoon. Okay, now for Carifosaurus. This one's a counter type one so I'll have excellent synergy with Super Impact here. Crit Block and Death Grind. Carifosaurus, very attack minded. And we have Edmontosaurus down here with Skydive, Metal Wing, and Anangera Dive. Gone for a flyer, t flyer move set here because I, I, I felt like I wanted to. <laughs> okay, now for our 1200 strength dinos, and probably the least popular dinosaur in this tournament, according to the Discord server, is Centaurosaurus. And I've gone for a very recovery based move with Recovery, Nature's Blessing, and Emerald Garden, so Centaurosaurus could be one to watch. Oh, right in the crotch. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, and we have an even less popular cartoon Cynthiosaurus. We have Dive Impress, Super Impact, and Light Recovery. So, the opposite of the normal Cynthiosaurus, more attack minded. But again, don't know much about this guy, so it might be good, it might not be. We saw the Sejuangosaurus go all the way. Can one of these weaker grass dinosaurs do the same? Okay, next up we have Fukuisaurus. With Egg Attack, Dromeo Rush, and of course, Emerald Garden. Oh, oops. Um, Brachylophosaurus, which was used by Ultima Dino King. And it helped Ultima Dino King win my tournament. With Two Before a Dive, Dino Swing, and Bigfoot Assault. Of course, unlike Ultimate's Brachylophosaurus, my one is Lethal Type. Just to get that maximized Bigfoot Assault there. Okay, now for our Thousand Strength Dinosaurs. We have the Aranosaurus, which... One of the best thousand strength dinosaurs in the whole, out of all of them. But this one is a blunder type one, so we have tie attack, green impulse, and wall smash. So this Oranosaurus could be a tricky customer to deal with. Also a tricky customer here could be Mutabarasaurus, with a critical block, super impact, and venom fang. And last but not least, we have Camptosaurus, with dive impress, archaeopteryx charm, and fawn whip. Could be whipping those dinos into shape. And well, of course, we gotta have Paris. And she has Nature's Blessing, Metal Wing, and well, Death Grind. I wasn't gonna put Bigfoot Assault on there because I think free super moves is not not very sporting when I put like only one or two on the others. So sorry Paris, but you're gonna have to have Death Grind. And I feel like Metal Wing and Nature's Blessing are more symbolic than Bigfoot Assault. Hell, I think Paris only used Bigfoot Assault like twice. 
I don't need a drink. Okay, now for our alphas, we have Alpha Iguanodon, which I actually used during Ultimate Dino King's tournament many, many years ago. With a bit of Stomp in Hammer, and obviously Alpha moves, of course, with Tie Bomb and Big Foot Assault, could be one to watch here. Following that up, we have Alpha Rhinosaurus, with Nature's Blessing, Softening Beam, and Banana Surprise. Okay, now for our Dino Tech to Paris. And she has Tail Smash, Green Impulse, and Tiebreaker. We saw the di we saw Brontokins and Spinotech to get all go all the way. Can Paris Dinotech to do the same? Okay, now we have Super Parasaurolophus. This will be interesting because I've never had a Super Dino in these mini tournaments, so I don't know what to expect from these guys. So we have Super Para with Nature's Blessing, Neck Crusher, and Light Recovery. Um, the Awaken mode I'll activate when once the HP goes below half. So that's when I'll use the Awaken mode. So it could mean a quick comeback or a quick defeat. Alright. Following that up, we have Super Ulti Rhinus with Power Drain, Dromeo Rush, and Emerald Garden. I try not to make these guys up too powerful. So I try to balance it out a little bit more than these other guys. But maybe one of them can go all the way. Now we have Super Shant with Defense Boost, Atomic Bomb, and Form Whip. Could be one to watch here. Okay, now for Super, now for Super Creefosaurus with a Stomping Hammer, a Metal Wing, and a Struffio Rush. Quite attack-minded, this guy. And another unpopular dinosaur in this tournament, the Super Centeosaurus with two Platoon Crush, Dino Swing, and Triple Headbutt. And bringing up the rear, last but not least, we have Super Mutaburosaurus with Tie Attack, Green Impulse, and Wall Smash. This guy has good synergy with the tie attack here, especially when in awaken mode, so it could be one to watch. And yep, that is all of our combatants. So it is finally time to match all these guys up in here. Okay, I'm sure for those of you that are new, I'll, I'll just explain how I do this. So we'll have 1 to 16 going across here, and then 17 to 32 going across here. And I will decrease the random number generator by 1 every time a, t a combatant is selected just to make sure we don't have any repeats. Okay, and our first number is number four. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Lambiosaurus. Ooh, I think some people will be pleased that the Lambiosaurus is gonna feature in the first matchup. Okay, and their opponent shall be number eight. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that could be a tough match. Two more, two of the fan favourites here. The Lambiosaurus taking on the Shant. Right, next up we will see number 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, the Carifosaurus. Carifosaurus and your opponent shall be... Ooh, 26. So 29, 28, 27. Ooh, that's going to be a tough match. The Carifosaurus taking on the Super Shant. Ooh, that's going to be a bruising encounter there. It could be a quick exit for the Karifa. Oh, no! <laughs> I think the checks have scored. Oh, no, the Scots are losing. <laughs> All right, back to it, back to it, back to it. Number three. Ooh, Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus. And, it's, and his opponent shall be... Ooh, that's a Parasaurolophus. Ooh, a clash of the golds. As, para, as the Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus takes on the Para. Ooh, that's going to be, that's probably going to be the clash of the round there. Okay, number 11. Oh, oh, everyone's most hated grass dinosaur, the Synteosaurus. Taking on. Number 4. So that will be, one, two, three. Ooh, the Proserolophus. I think we'll all know who... I think everyone will be rooting for the Proserolophus here. <laughs> uh, I don't know what people don't like Synthesaurus. It's like a unicorn saurus. Oh, 24, that was easy. That's Super Mutaburasaurus. And Super Mutaburasaurus' opponent is going to be number 19. So 23, 22, 21, 20. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big clash there. Paris Dinotector. Ooh, that's going to be a clash. Oh yeah, I should also mention that I'll activate the armor as soon as I can. I mean, based on the water washout tournament, I don't even think 
she will get to that stage of being able to activate her armor. Not because she'll die, but because she'll either get too many... There won't be enough time to fill up the bar. Unless there's multiple ties. Alrighty then. Now for number 22. Oh, number one. That's easy. That's Sorolophus. Ooh, wow. We've had all the golds. Well, except for Super Paris Sorolophus, I suppose. But wow, all the golds in the top section. That's interesting. Okay, number three. That is... Ooh, the Lanzusaurus. Quite some big matchups at the top. Sorolophus taking on Lanzusaurus. Wow, we haven't had any of these little guys yet, except for the Sinteo. Okay, number five. One, two, three, four. Ooh, Myasaura. Could be an underrated dino in this tournament. Could be one to watch. Could be a dark horse. Myasaura will be taking on number 15. So that's 19, 18, 17. Ooh, the Alpha Ranosaurus. Ooh, we got our first, like, mini clash here. All right, number 18. 18 now. Oh, oh, that's easy. Number one, that is the Ulti Rhinus. The thick-nosed lizard there. Actually, no, that's Pachyrhinosaurus, but, you know, it's still got a thick nose. Taking on number eight. So that is... One, two, three, four, five, six... Ooh, the Brachylophosaurus. The wild card in Ultimate Dino King's team in the in the last tournament? Could it do well in this tournament? Alright, that's a four. One, two, four. Ooh, Iguanodon. So we have the Iguanodon. We're moving on to the lower half of the tape of the brackets thingies now. Of course, the brackets will be split up in two, so this will be one section and this will be the other, so yeah. Heavy hitters on both ends, I suppose. Number 13. Okay, that should be should be easy enough. And 13 out of 15. So 15. Okay, that's super... Oh. Well, we've had the normal ulti rhinos, and now it's the super ulti rhinos. We should have... How many should we have left? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yep, 14 left to go. Oh, wow. So many number ones today. But I'll take it, because it makes my job easier. So, we have the Karanosaurus. The Paraposa herself taking on number two. That will be. Ooh, the Uluru Titan. The two unknowns going at it. Could be interesting. Wow, none of these guys have been picked yet. Maybe they'll get picked here. Okay, number eight. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that's Paris. The normal Paris. And her opponent is going to be... Oh, another number one. That should be Anata Titan. Oh, a clash of the bronzes there. Paris taking on Anata Titan. Um, I don't actually remember Paris fighting any grass dinosaurs in the anime. Only except Ulti Rhinus, but she never really fought the Ulti Rhinus. She just used Big Foot Assault to counter Super Impact. So it was more Supersaurus going up against Seismosaurus than Paris going up against Ulti Rhinus. We should be left with 10 combatants, ladies and gentlemen. And that will be 2, 4, 6, 8. Yep. 10 combatants. And they are the Edmontosaurus, the Cartoon Sinteosaurus, the Fukuisaurus, Aranosaurus, Mutaburosaurus, Camptosaurus, Alpha Iguanodon, Super Parasaurolophus, Super Carifosaurus, and Super Sinteo. So let's see where all the, our remaining combatants will be. Okay, that's a four. So that's one, two, three. Ooh, the normal Aranosaurus. Finally entering the fray here. The normal Aranosaurus shall take on number four. That is one, two. Ooh, a clash of the thousand strength dinos here. As Aranosaurus takes on the mutt. <laughs> the mutt. I like that, actually, yeah. The mutt. Okay, that's number eight. Ooh, a Super Sinteosaurus. Okay, Super Sinteosaurus's opponent shall be number one. And that is the Edmontosaurus. Hmm, that could be an interesting clash there. Okay, now for six more. For number five, that is... Oh, finally, the Super Parasaurolophus finally getting their... Finally getting their call out. And Super Parasaurolophus's opponent is going to be... 
number five, and that should be another super dino which could make things interesting. The Super Carithosaurus. Oh, look at that for a matchup. That's an interesting, that's an intriguing match, isn't it? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have the Cartoon Sinteosaurus, Fukuisaurus, Camptosaurus, and Alpha Iguanodon yet to be placed. So let's find out who will go where. Okay, so number two, that's Fukuisaurus, the Geisha Dancer thing itself, going up against number three, and that, my friends, is the Alpha Iguana, which will leave, as long as, long as I've done everything correct, the Cartoon Sinteosaurus taking on the Camptosaurus. So we'll just see who goes with, and the Cartoon Sinteosaurus will be the so-called home team, and the Camptosaurus will be the away side. Ooh, some exciting matchups here. I think we're in for an exciting mini tournament here. So who is your pick to win this tournament? Um, I'm leaning towards a silver. I feel like one of the silvers is going to win. But, you know, the way the Wicked Win tournament went, you know, anything can happen with random number generator. Um, I'm probably looking forward to this clash the most. This could be an interesting matchup, as this one as well. A clash of two golds. Some big matchups in the first round, and I think we could see. Some, well, we're definitely going to see some big casualties early on. But yep, that is the draw for the Gracious Grass Tournament. Um, how will these videos work? Oh, hmm. Yeah, I, I'm going to do four matches at a time, so it'll be four matches per video during this first round. So, so in the first video, we'll start with these four matchups. And then we'll go to these four, and then these four, and then these four, and etc, etc. In the last 16, it will be the uh, be same format again. So it'll be these two, these two matchups, and these four matchups, sorry. And then we get to the quarterfinals. So it'll just be these two matchups, and then these two matchups. And then the semi will do it all in one video. And then, you know, you get the gist. So, yeah. A lot to look forward to here in the Gracious Grass Tournament. So I hope you enjoyed me placing them all in. And... Stay tuned for next time where we will get started with this tournament, kicking, uh, kicking it off with Lambiosaurus taking on the Shant. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.